All right, Maximus analysis here for May 6, 2015, and we see that we have broken some key levels, which is 2080. I'm not looking to get long anything unless it reaches above 2105 in this area here. Okay, there's no reason that I need to step in front of the bus if we're heading down. Again, we hit some key levels and broke down pretty hard today. We gained a lot in the uh, intraday. Again, it got to a low of 61 and currently is at 7, uh, 74. Uh, my break point was 2080, and I broke it and broke down clean on, on volume. But again, it didn't recover about uh, three, uh, three quarters of the price action for the day. So again, I would not be looking to go long here, even on the buy signal, uh, if it came above and broke above uh, this 93.75 level. So I would definitely keep uh, cautious. Um, from here, uh, again, going longs for swing trades. Again, if you're trading um, intraday, you know, it's just a matter of checking your levels and going from there. Um, and Q, same thing. You see that we had the sell signal pretty much a couple days ago on the 4th, and it's still ramping down on increased volume. We need this uh, previous swing point right here of 43.45 to hold for the NQ. A lot of names look sick, will not lie, but uh, again, we got to see if the invisible hand is going to come and lift it up a little bit. But you see that the price action is churning in the worst way sideways, being that this is the beginning of the year around here. So you see that it, it has given nothing. If you're a buy and hold guy, you're pretty much break even for the year or down a little bit. So I would be very cautious with increasing volume and it just grinding. Again, it pops down and flags up. You will see a very fast move to the downside because of how this is just creeping and grinding sideways. You got a IWM, IWM pretty much uh, doing the same thing. Again, it recovered a little bit more, but again, small caps are not going to be a leader to me. I'm going to look more to the ES for uh, some some uh, some leadership. Again, that's the big big daddy, and there's a reason for that. Um, oops, let me just get the symbol right. So crude, it gave a very very nice pop up but then sold off very hard. So again, the price action was very, very violent today. And that was because again, every Wednesday, for those that day trade this, it is uh, at 10.30, they have a, a, a patrol, uh, inventories report and it can be very violent. And today was probably one of the most violent days. Uh, if you look, if you break it down on a 15 minute, you could definitely see how much it spiked up uh, and then gave everything back after 10.30 to the downside so it needs to hold crude needs to hold this 59 area uh, and 60 area right here or it is going to go back down so again they have high increasing volume you want to you want it if this was going to follow through you wanted it to actually uh continue up and increase volume to the upside so this violence on a bearish type of candle pattern is something that would say okay let's be careful uh apple Again, uh, it's just churning sideways. Again, it looked a lot worse than it actually is, but it's still holding these 123 and a half area. But uh, I wouldn't be banking on, again, increased volume. It's just sideways. Again, it's just sideways. And, and, and I know a lot of people said that I know Apple. Well, guess what? You know it as a NASDAQ name, not as a down name, because again, they're, they're manipulating a lot of these down names, which you can see from how Microsoft immediately faded down. They're trying to hold some stuff up. Uh, you have Google as well that is broken down close, uh, the last buy signal. It is actually sliced through it. So this one, again, is not trading in a range. It's just trading in a range. This boxy range from basically uh, 585 to 530. So again, it might seem like, all right, that's a 10% move. I can make some money. But again, if you're looking to trade the trend, it breaks down below here. It could continue and then slam back down. Um, a buy signal in this area again if you're going to even consider it wait till the break above this high and don't use a full position because uh, you want to be cautious T Tesla again it's right before earnings. I think it earn uh, get earnings tomorrow so you just want to make sure that you're aware of that uh, Netflix I will not be wouldn't be short and just because it's in an uptrend again you know, trading sideways and holding consolidating during a lot of this stuff is not a bearish pattern whatsoever and uh, has yes it has a lot of islands and gaps and stuff like that but uh we have to you know you have to respect the trend and again people just want to 
it's just stupid. Sometimes people just want to uh, short everything. Again, if you saw the gap up exhaustion volume and short it down, okay, that's fine. But you just keep your top your stops as tight as possible. Um, you know the regular you know Dow names. They you know they they're going to keep up, and Goldman is going to you know they're going to keep up. And again, that buy program they might shoot it back up a little bit. It's been very very sideways, and I know a lot of people were looking at the banks. But I think that was just a buy program to kind of, uh, and it's all programs, by the way. You know, it's, let's not fool ourselves about the Fed and ARBs and basket programs. It's all that. It's just to say we just have to trade. It is what it is. So, again, you see a lot of the big names have been beaten up. And let's see what the bonds have done. They're still breaking down, actually. So, um, we have to see what, what happens. Again, it's grinding sideways. Again, I've gone to a smaller time frame. It will quicken up the swing trace and more of a weekly time frame as well, five or seven days or eight days, and uh, go from there. But again, just don't keep your powder dry if you feel uncomfortable trading this type of environment, because at the end of the day, you know, it's your P&L that's going to tell you what's what's uh, doing well. And if you're not making money, you don't have to say, what am I doing wrong? You could say, what is the market doing? And maybe it's not a time that you're going to make a lot of money, but you Instead of shitting away a lot of money and giving away commissions, you actually wait and get a good setup. Take care.